Hey there guys and welcome to Terranigma. This is the last of the Soul Blazer trilogy, or what many consider to be the, uh, well I guess you could say the Gaia series in general. So we first of all we had Soul Blazer, we had Illusion of Gaia, and now we have this. And yes, this is the intro here. Heartbeat. <laughs> So yeah, this game came out in 1996 for Power Regions. It didn't come out in the US, or North America, I should say. Um, it was in Japan in 1995. So they took two years from Illusion of Gaia to work on this one. And it's about twice the length of Illusion of Gaia in general. And I would say this is by far my favourite out of the three of them. Though Soul Blazer probably I enjoy more than Illusion of Gaia myself, though you could... Uh, you could probably say that you prefer Illusion of Gaia as well. I figured I would shop for the music a little bit. Uh, yeah, so here's our intro here. Various pictures of stuff on Earth, that's, that's fine, okay. And a clock, because clocks. Clocks and RPGs, man. Well, that's great. God and Devil. Alright. So, the text isn't perfect in this game. A lot of the times, the formatting is off. But that's really the only issue. Sometimes the translation may be a bit... Uh, eh. And also 13th hour. Oh god. So once again, the setting is on Earth. As with the other two games at various points. So, we're going to get a, a start screen. But um, we're just going to leave it for a while. Because there's a little bit of a demo. So this was Quintet again, and in combination with Enix. And yes, it is 1996. The music in this game is not bad, by the way. I think I prefer some of the music in Illusion of Gaia, but... This, this tra these uh, songs aren't that bad either. So yeah, this effect. Yeah, this looks like a nice place, doesn't it? Yep. Oh well. There's not really, there's not really any spoilers in this demonstration. It's just um, eventually it'll show us our main character, and that's about it. Yes, here is our main character. His name is Ark. And yeah, they put they put a little bit of credits in. It's not the poll credits. It's just like licensed to Nintendo, etc. And chickens, because. Why not? Yes, you can open doors. That's that's great arc. <laughs> Amazing. So, yeah. It also shows us the very first um, time we're going to be in. And also, you can jump up ledges and shit, and drop down them. This guy walks with total swag though, you can tell. Why is that there anyway? Just a river? Or a waterfall? I don't even know. The perspective is kind of eh on it. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that's all you get, basically, and then uh, it goes back to the start. So we're going to start a game. I'm actually going to go with the default name, because last game you you could only be Will. Uh, I don't think, there wasn't a name entry, I believe. 
Uh, so I'm going to stick with Ark this time and we'll say Soul Blazer is a one off because some angel dude. I don't know. I think I did change his name. I can't even remember, honestly. So let's go a new game. Uh, we're just going to go to End. So we just stick with the default name. I believe you can only use like five characters anyway. So the translation, you'll notice this text is out off center. So, you know, it's not great, but. I'm surprised they even was outside of uh, Japan, honestly. I guess they wanted to finish the trilogy, sort of. But yes, here we wake up, this is Ellie. And over here is our main character, who gets, you know, standard RPG stuff, just gets woken up to start the game, right? Should go outside! Crystal blue. Alright, so uh, yeah, Ark can run, he can jump, and that's about all we can do right now. I think he can rest in his bed. He can also jump in his bed. Oh well. So the only useful thing in this room really is to uh, record your data, so just go and save. And the game is telling us that we are level 1. Well, of course. Alright, dude. So the crystal blue is basically the bubble sort of atmosphere we have outside, and here we get introduced to Ark and the fact that he can uh, he can pick up a vase. But the thing is, in order to talk to her again, god damn it, no food for you. Yeah, he can't. He can't actually. <laughs> he can't actually just give it to her. Uh, elder, all right, all right. So we'll talk to this guy. Okay, it looks like our main character is kind of a dick. That's all right. All right, let's go to the elder's room here. Talk to this guy. Apologize. Well, let's try and do stuff, maybe. To actually make up for what the character's already done. Great. Well, we gotta go over at the Weavers. But first, I want to show you a couple things in the town. This is Krista. So, yeah, it's kind of like bubbles and shit. I don't know. What have you got to say? That's fantastic. Right, so over here is a merchant. We don't have any money yet, which is measured in gems, but... We can see various things that we can, uh... Yeah. We can't get anything yet though, so there's various healing items, those small bulbs and etc. Over here we have the magic store. A kinda of strange place, and these guys creep me the fuck out, but whatever. They also laugh at me, which I don't know. So magic rocks are kinda of your magic system. I'm gonna be honest, this game doesn't really have a good magic system at all. Uh, Soul Blazer's still better, and even then it wasn't very good. Then again, it is an action RPG, so I guess you can't be expected to do too much with it, but yeah. This is the fortune place. Star of David there in the back for some reason. Alright, just tell me I'm like I got dan I'm dangerous or whatever. Yeah, cheers. Alright, so we go through the weavers and I know exactly where it is. It's that door they opened before in the demo. So let's go. Alright, so we talk to this person here, and we apologize. Maybe... yeah, they separate maybe. Dunno, why? <laughs> yeah, there's some typos, but... eh, whatever. I've seen worse translations by far. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, after you've done that, that's actually the first thing that you have to do. Next you go back to your uh, good old, well no, it's actually not your house, it's the elders as you see it come up there. And we go back into this room. And yeah, these guys are trying to do something. They want to open this door. The one we're not supposed to open. This is already bad. But we're going to say we're going to open it. Either way, they're going to open the door, and there's not much you can really do, so I may as well just chuck stuff out, because that is the cooler way. 
No, no commas and shit. Well, whatever. And let's get rid of this. And the other guy left. Huh. And then we get a little, uh, get a little person crying, I guess. Crying out. <laughs> and this is classic. Everyone's like, uh, I've got to go. Yeah. And the third guy, he, he, I, I recall he doesn't even try and make an excuse. Yeah, he doesn't even make an excuse. Yeah, you open it so you can take care of it. All right. So, well, it looks like we're going down here then. And yes, this first this first video is probably just going to be explaining and getting to our first dungeon. Okay, get me down. Whoop! Oh jeez, it hurt me. God damn. I thought running into a box would be good for me. My soul is soothed. Alright, I'll try again. That seemed to work better. So what do we get in the box? The fuck is that? Yeah, I, I don't... I don't know what it is. I played this game, and I still don't know what it is. They never explain it. Ever. Yes, actually has a name, and the name is Yomi. But you're wrong! <laughs> so, the box is actually what we're going to use to get to our menus, which is interesting. So, the select key is the key we use in order to get into the box, but he's going to give us a little tour. I assume it's a E, I don't actually know. Uh, so magic is in that little uh, that little chest there, magic rocks and stuff. Alright, to use magic, equip this jewel box, apparently. Battle handbook, do an attack, read this, yeah, yeah. There's not many attacks, so yeah. The mirror is quite useful because it tells you your level and your stats. And you can change your settings there. And then the map, which I never used at all last time, which is strange. And yeah. I hate how they put a full stop on the third line with nothing else. So yeah, there there is um I believe it's just some tips. I never really used it either. So you have an item room where you keep all your well, it keeps your inventory here. So you use one of the other keys for the items and you can get descriptions for them as well. And there's also a discard thing called the whole hole. Clever. Alright, so it takes you to the weapon room as well. So yeah, it has a certain amount of weapons just uh, hanging around there. Armor, whatever. It's fairly easy to understand. Alright, so go explore. There's nothing we can actually do here. I don't think, like, there's... We can't actually use any of these things yet. Can we use this? No. No, we can't. And we can't do anything with Yomi here, so we're just going to the uh, weapon room. And go over to the flashing part, because that's always good, right? Okay. Well, let's just listen to this random voice, of course. Yes! Okay, so you go and click it again and you attain a weapon. It doesn't actually say what the weapon is yet. I just get a weapon. That's great. Alright, what's outside? Oh, okay. Yeah, what is that? I, I don't actually know. Fucking Yomi. They also space out the dots in this game. <laughs> and yeah.
You mocking me, mate? <laughs> yeah, so everyone is now frozen or something. Kinda looks frozen, so yeah, I'll say frozen. Something, something frozen today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yomi, you're you're fantastic, aren't you? No, I'm pretty sure he did get away. Thing is, if you do press select, you can see him right there. So, like, I could just like the map. I can't actually use the map here. So yeah, you can see various things. So let's check settings here. I assume this is tech speed. I don't actually know. I didn't change any of this last time, so I'm gonna leave it alone and press select again. All right, so it uh, looks like we're getting nothing out of her. All right, so apparently I've frozen everyone in the village, which is pretty bad, you know. I, I, I destroyed all the weavings, and you know that was bad. And then froze every, frozen everyone here, so you know that's great. I uh, guess we're going in here. Is he even in here? No, he's not. So I guess I'm going outside. Oh, there you go. And yeah, this is great. Yes. No, it doesn't matter. We just want to stay here. <laughs> Outside the village. I believe that um, the merchants are not frozen. So if we go back and we actually somehow he beat us there, uh, we can actually take these chests. This is a small ball, but it's your basic healing item. What else we got here? We obtained 50 gems! Gems are the currency. As I've said, I should have said that. Alright, so out we go. And you'll notice that there actually is arches this time out of the village. There was actually no way out before. Alright, so let's actually equip stuff. Uh, you did get some clothes as well. I don't know, maybe Ark wasn't wearing clothes before? I don't even know. So yeah, that's the crystal spear. It actually is the only item that heals you while you're uh, in this place. It doesn't heal you after you leave it. But uh, yeah, let's go outside. I believe the merchants aren't frozen, but we'll see next time. So this is the overworld. Uh, you can, you are free to explore. There's no like random encounters or anything. Uh, so yeah, the first place we're going to is this tower. This is Tower One, as it says. I like the transition they do with the names of the areas. And as soon as you get here, you get another little speech. Yeah, um, what? Okay, face. Alright, what's going on? Hey, you. God damn. Uh, uh, they what are we call it? The face on gate. I guess I want to kind of save them. You know, I kind of doomed. Uh, that village to extinction. Doesn't look like there's much civilization around this place either from the few seconds I was on the world map. So, you know, one village, that might be bad. So, Soul Placer was kind of reviving a dead world, and uh, Illusion of Gaia and um, Terranigma are kind of more about, um, you know, keeping the world from dying. But we'll see more about that next time. Uh, so far, we've got a weapon, so I'll show you the attacks. You can do a rapid attack, like if you just attack once, it just pokes. But if you keep it attacking, it'll do that attack. If you run an attack, it'll do this attack. And it actually has invincibility frames, which are good. Uh, you can jump an attack to do a spin attack. And the last attack is to do run and jump and attack, which does this kind of attack. Alright, so we'll kill a couple enemies, then I'll end the video. These are the easiest enemies. So they, they drop some gems when they die. Most enemies do. Alright. You can also block with uh, R... Well, I, I, it would be the R button on the actual SNES. I was using um, R1. Alright, so I'm going to be back, guys. And we're going to finish the rest of Tower 1, probably. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 